Scenes from the Exchange parking lot in the first food truck Wednesday. AFES plans on offering the event every Wednesday from 11 to 2 through the summer months as long as there's interest. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, Fort Mead concludes its Sexual Assault and Abuse Prevention Month observance and our regular look at some job search news. These stories and much more, but first, one of the biggest nights of the year on the Garrison calendar is the Volunteer of the Year Recognition Ceremony. Recently, Club Mead hosted the first in-person ceremony since 2019. We'll get to the winners in a moment, but first, the keynote speaker, Misty Bruce, the Executive Director of the Maryland Center for Veteran Education and Training, related a fascinating story. She was a young Army widow who needed a helping hand and in turn used volunteerism to get her own life back on track. A volunteer saved my life. Um, not through CPR, first aid, not by applying a tourniquet, not through an amazing blood donation from someone I'll never meet, but she saved my life because she was in the right place at the right time, and she invested in me as an individual. She saw value. You can watch her entire speech on our Fort Meade Live Facebook page. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the Fort Meade Volunteers of the Year. The Active Duty Volunteer of the Year is Master Sergeant Nicholas Potts, nominated by the Fort Meade Spouses Club. Potts volunteered more than 240 hours for several organizations, including the Spouses Club and the Meade High Lacrosse Team. The Civilian Volunteer of the Year is Wilma Potts. Potts saved the thrift shop nearly $10,000 in wages. Kaylee Hickson is the Youth Volunteer of the Year. Her efforts earned her the Presidential Bronze Volunteer Service Award. The Connor family is the Volunteer Family of the Year. Thanks to the Connors, the Post Thrift Shop saved nearly $6,000 in wages. The CYS Volunteer of the Year is Patrick St. Vaul. He coached youth teams in every season, contributing three evenings a week. And the final award goes to the Spouses Club. They're the Volunteer Organization of the Year. Congratulations and a big thank you to all of Fort Meade's volunteers. You can watch the entire ceremony on our Facebook Live page. Elsewhere, the Fort Meade Sexual Harassment and Assault Prevention Program or SHARP organized a full slate of activities in April in observance of Sexual Assault and Abuse Prevention Month. They wrapped up the month with two of its biggest events, the Denim Day Walk and an amazing race competition. Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp addressed the competitors before the race. What I do know is there's been a whole lot of effort to do a few things. One, to educate about the resources that exist in order to intervene as well as to get support if uh, you are subject to sexual assault or sexual violence. Two, it's about building the interpersonal relationships and protective measures so we can avoid these situations in the first place. And three, is to stand together as a community to show that we will not accept sexual violence. Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center hosted the annual Denim Day Walk, an international event that has become a symbol of protest against destructive attitudes about sexual assault. It starts back in 1992 from a victim of sexual assault, where in the Italian parliament, after reviewing a case, overturned a conviction on a, on a victim who suffered from sexual assault, and the findings and the ruling in the case became an international story. And what the judges indicated is that it might have been partly the victim's fault because they were she was wearing jeans and the jeans were too tight. So since then, because of the public outcry and the and the obvious understanding of how we get things like sexual assault and sexual harassment so warped, we now annually, not just locally, but across across the globe, celebrate Denim Day. In other news, Colonel Sapp was recently invited to speak at the first Our Community Cares High School Recognition Ceremony for Anne Arundel County Public Schools. Our Community Salute started in New Jersey in 2009 to honor students who choose to enlist and serve. The Anne Arundel County event was one of more than 50 held across the country this year. Elsewhere, the next quarterly community job fair is coming up May 24th from 10 to 2 at Club Mead. The job fair is hosted by the Maryland Department of Labor, MWR, the Anne Arundel Workforce Development Corporation, the Transition Assistance Program, the Fleet and Family Support Center, and ACS. More than 50 potential employers will be on hand. As always, there's a free shuttle service from the Army Reserve Center on Maryland 175 to Club Mead. For a complete list of employers, go to www.mead.armymwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.